Skeptical Mechanics. Today we're going to talk about owning a old car. So uh, for some people the idea of daily driving an old car is kind of hard to get around. Uh, they're scared of the car breaking down, they're scared of not understanding how they work and uh, I mean you know they, they always think that having an old car means it needs to have a shiny paint job, it needs to sound awesome, it needs to drive perfectly. That's not the case guys. You can Pick any car and make it run however you want to make it run. So <clears throat> one of the first things to consider is your budget. Now that's really up to you on how much you want to spend. Uh, I've done it before where you pick up a car for a thousand dollars, put a cool engine in there, give it a nasty paint job and you know people dig it. Or you got people who spend a lot of money like five thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars on a car and then they work their way up from there. Now uh, me and my friends are known to just pick up old beaters which is kind of like this uh i bought this on a cheap side uh but again it didn't include an include in interior need a lot of work now <clears throat> as far as interior it depends on what you want to do uh for us is uh it didn't come with an interior it was already painted black so what we did is we got a pair of seats that were good got a shifter in there and we got some gauges and uh, i zip tied a stereo there so this is the thing it can be as cheap as you want it to be or it can be as expensive as you want it to be uh you got to know where you're going to spend your money uh i don't care how the interior of my car looks but some people do as far as uh, other things you got to spend on the car when you first get it it's going to be wheels and tires you want to have a good set of meat because uh, it's going to help the car stay on the ground and it's going to do better burnouts and so on you need to upgrade the shocks you need to upgrade bushings sway bar bushings for sure <clears throat> your control arms uh you gotta do basic servicing and this is the thing if you don't know how to work on a car or you know your way around the car it's gonna be kind of harder for you to get an old car now if you have a lot of friends that know how to do it and you got a nice set of tools then you should be able to work your way up there's tons of information on youtube on how to work on old cars and again guys things don't gotta be fancy like you can keep it very very simple i'll show you guys I've owned old cars since I was to something like 17 and uh, never really spent a lot of money on them. Maybe why it didn't last very long. But <clears throat> for instance, uh, the heater, uh, the AC unit was removed from this car. It was a big hole in the firewall. We just drilled a plate in there and that seems to be doing the job. Uh, you can have different valve cover covers on your car and that's not a problem. Uh, your battery, the uh, battery holder rusted and uh we just strapped it with a strap and that's it they, these cars are simple guys that's the thing you know they're very very simple it's uh you can, there's lots of ways to hack them but the idea is just get it on the road drive it can't have a car sitting forever uh i mean you can and don't take me wrong if you have the money yeah go ahead let your car sit for five years and take it to the shop and have those guys fix it for you but uh, buying an old beater and working on it and you know throwing three hundred dollars four hundred dollars once in a while it's not bad i mean guys i daily drive this thing to work and it just goes it sounds nice going through the light people give you the thumbs up people love it uh let's see what else <clears throat> oh yeah paint job uh, obviously this is not the best paint job ever uh, we just want to see how it looked on green uh we are eventually going to do a different paint job on this thing a little bit better better sanding and so on but the idea was just to see how it looked green we got good things coming for this one uh, now one of the other things that people don't understand is like when you get an old car you're gonna have to get dirty you're gonna be driving one day to the grocery store and then this thing is just gonna shut off out of nowhere you're gonna be stuck either in the freeway you're gonna be stuck in the parking lot of walmart and you're gonna be like geez what the fuck do i do 
that's why you always bring your tools with you. They're always on the trunk. You gotta have your basic tools with you. You gotta have a jack. You gotta be ready for it. <clears throat> Other things is know where your parts store are, are around you. You gotta know where they are. You gotta be friends with the guys at the parts store. Uh, they're gonna be able to help you a lot. So yeah, that's the thing guys. Buy an old beater, okay? Give yourself a budget. Say, I'm gonna spend $3,000 on a car. How much do you wanna spend on a car? 2,000. You got $1,000 left for tires, uh, making sure the engine is serviced and so on. It's not that hard guys. Well, I think that's gonna be it for today, uh, but I hope I changed your mind with owning old cars. And uh, if you guys do get an old car, let me know. We're able to help you wrench. <laughs>